Remember my Target review when I picked up a bunch of non-dairy creamers and I was screaming about carrageenan, which luckily I didn't have any problems that day with my tummy. So I bought unsweetened almond creamer and hazelnut and I also bought better half or coconut cream and almond milk, dairy-free half and half, vegan, kosher, gluten-free, non-GMO verified. This is the silk, uh, really good ingredients, zero grams of sugar, non-GMO verified as well. I wanted to love them. I thought this is unsweetened, but it's hazelnut, so that might be good. This, I thought, oh, coconut cream, almond milk, pumpkin spice, no sugar added. I'm trying to lose weight. I gained a lot of weight this year. Thank you, pandemic. I ate my feelings and now my feelings are on my butt and my legs and my stomach. At least they're not on my face though. I don't know how it all went like south this year. None of it stayed up north under my chin. As long as I don't film below here, I'm fine. I am going back to Old Faithful, which is Silk Oat Yeah, the oatmeal cookie one. I have told so many people about this. Go buy it. If you drink dairy, I don't care. If you don't care about ve vegan, I don't care. This is the single best creamer you will ever have in your life. It is free from dairy, gluten, carrageenan, and cholesterol, cholesterol, artificial colors and flavors. Ingredients, filtered water, whole oat flour, cane sugar, sunflower oil, pea protein, potassium, citrate, baking soda, gelin, gelin gum, however you say that, I still don't know. I'm not looking it up either and natural flavor. It does taste like straight up oatmeal cookie. I want to put a straw in it and drink it out of the container. It has no weird aftertaste. It has no bitterness. It's not overly sweet, but it has kind of a cinnamon flavor. I hate videos where people are eating and drinking. Coffee doesn't count, Shh. coffee doesn't count. Yum. Seriously, the, the back end of this, it's like you ate a liquid oatmeal cookie or like, let's get really gross. If you're eating cookie dough, um, <laughs> I know you eat cookie dough. Don't act like you don't. This is like if you put a ball of oatmeal cookie dough in your mouth with the cinnamon and the yummy flavors and you kind of like hold it in your mouth and just let it melt. That's what this tastes like. I have told people about this and they have commented back to me that I was absolutely right, that they completely love it. My husband has been drinking black coffee forever and now he switched to stealing this all the time. I go to Target and buy like four of these. Target has the best prices and when it goes on sale at Target, that's when you score. You're gonna probably buy one and then you're gonna buy two and then you're gonna get like me and end up having four of them and it has its own row in my refrigerator now. So let's go to the ones I don't like. So this one's almost gone because as much as I hate it, and I mean I hate it, I'm also not a wasteful person. I can't stand throwing things away. I can't stand. I got that from my friend Jamie. He doesn't waste anything. Honest opinion. I can't figure out what the smell is. And it's not hazelnut. And it's not almond. <laughs> oh, it's on my nose. Oh, great. Now I'm going to smell this all night. I'm looking at filtered water, almonds, sunflower oil, pea protein, potassium citrate, baking soda. Maybe it's too much baking soda. Natural flavor, natural, it's, it's the most chemically smelling almond creamer I've ever smelled. If anybody likes this, talk to me in the comments. I don't know what it is. I, it tastes terrible to me. Total sugar is four grams. Total sugar, zero grams. Maybe that four grams of sugar is just the difference that I need that sweetness. But I can stand unsweetened. I cannot stand chemical tasting. If I'm having almond milk and almonds and hazelnuts, why would I want to taste chemicals? Do you ever have almonds or hazelnuts and they have that slightly bitter flavor or back endy flavor? Maybe it was just a batch of them. I don't know. I really wanted to like this and it has a weird chemical flavor. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it. Let me know if you think it tastes chemical-like. Let me know if you can figure out what that flavor is. It tastes like bitter, waxy, that waxy taste that some hazelnuts and almonds have, like a weird waxy flavor. Not good. This disappointment of the month. Um, 
Califia, your steam's remarkably baking. You're gonna need a bit, this might be good baking. Smoothies, add some creaminess. Cool, there's no stopping your dessert mojo. So you could put this in recipes, which you know what, I have a lot of it left because I can't stand it, honestly. No sugar added, dairy free, soy free. Do not freeze. Vegan, kosher, gluten free, almond milk, coconut cream, pumpkin puree, sunflower lecithin, natural flavors, calcium carbonate, ground cinnamon, monk fruit juice concentrate. That might be what I don't like. I am not a fan of monk fruit. I'm sorry. Just not. It tastes weird. Sea salt, ground ginger, potassium citrate, locust bean gum, ground nutmeg, gel and gum. Allergen statement contains almonds, coconut manufactured a facility that also handles peanuts and other tree nuts. You know, I didn't even think about it. I could see, I'm glad I did this. I can bake with this. This might be good with baking in place of some kind of dairy, pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins or... Okay, wait. The first thing that hits me is pumpkin puree. Mmm. <laughs> okay, guess what? I hate this in coffee. Hate, 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 hate it in coffee. It ruins every cup of coffee I put it in. On its own, if you drink it, this would make a killer pumpkin smoothie. Man, I'm so glad I did this video. I was ready to like get rid of this. I'm like, oh, this is ruining my coffee. Something about those spices, and I think it's the no sugar added. When you put cinnamon and nutmeg and all those spices into a coffee and you have, even if it's a mild, I don't like super bitter coffee. I'm drinking all blonde and medium roasts. So this, holy crap, who knew? Put a straw in it and have a pumpkin smoothie. Seriously, I'm gonna make a pumpkin smoothie with this. We might have to do a review of that. Um, yeah, okay. So final thoughts, hate, sorry, hate it. Don't know what happened with this. And I do like Silk's other, I like some of their other um, non-dairy creamers. I hate this one. It was like the worst one I've had. So that was kind of disappointing. So I was looking for a zero sugar one. This, don't like it in coffee. I, no, sir, I don't like it, but delicious on its own by itself. Oh, you know what else I just realized I can do? Hold on. Guess what? We can make what I just had at Derailed Tap House last weekend. We can make a pumpkin spice white Russian. Oh, that's gonna be so good. See, I found a use. It's nice when you might see something that, you know, it's a half and half, and I thought, well, I'll put it in my coffee, but really use it in place of a half and half with pumpkin, use it in anything like, oh, pumpkin pancakes, this would be good in too. I was like, what else can we put it in? Pumpkin pancakes, so yes. But if I'm going for what's in my coffee, I've been drinking this since it came out. I can't even count how many cartons of this I've gone through. This is by far my number one recommendation for non-dairy coffee creamers. Go to Target, see if they have this, get it. Actually, any of the silk, oh yeah. And again, funny, both silk, right? Both made by silk, right there. Terrible, awesome. How these are made by the same company, I don't know. And if you don't believe me, go get them for yourself and taste them side by side. Signing off, have a great evening. Don't drink coffee all night like me. You'll be up until 4 a.m. I'm sure I will again tonight. See you in the next one.